Welcome mathematicians. This is our first video uh, to teach us how to set up our math notebooks and to take a few notes about ratios to get us started for the year. Remember the beauty of videos is that you can go at your own pace. You can pause if you need to. You can rewind and listen to it again. You can, could fast forward it um, and get to a spot of something specific that you need more information on. Now that you have your math notebook out, we just need to go ahead and put our name and the fact that it is math class on the front. If you want to decorate it or spice it up in your own time, feel free to do that. After we have our math notebooks um, labeled, we're going to go ahead to our first page and we're going to start our table of contents. Make sure that when you are writing in your math notebooks that you use pencil so that we can fix any mistakes that we need to. Of course, this is page one. So our table of contents is ready to go. We will just do a little line here for our page. And then let's write subject right here. And our first one is going to be ratios, lesson one. And that is going to go actually on page five today. Then we can lit number our pages. The back of our table of contents should be page two. This we're going to leave blank for another table of contents if we need it. Then we have page four. And here should be page five. All right, we are ready to take some notes about ratios that we learned in class today. I just want you to have it in writing so that you can refer back to it if you need it, and it should help you with your homework as well. So this should say ratios, lesson one. The most important thing about ratios is to remember the definition of a ratio, which is an ordered pair of non-negative, which just means positive, numbers which are both not zero. So the most important part in this definition is the fact that the numbers have to be ordered, their order matters, and that it is only numbers. They are only numbers and their order is important. So we write these two different ways. It can be A with a colon B or A to B. An example um, in real life context would be the um, relationship of months to year. To years, we have 12 months for every one year, or 12 to one. These are the specific ratio. There are no labels, no words, only numbers. When we are describing what these mean, that's called ratio language or ra ratio relationship descriptions. It's kind of a mouthful. Ratio relationship descriptions. So if they were ask you, look at this ratio and say what the description of that ratio is, that's when we would write, there are 12 months to one year, or we might say for every 12 months, there is a year. So that's the difference. If a question asks you for write the ratio from this description, they want you to write something like this. If they ask you to write a description from a ratio, they want you to write the words like this. Another example would be, whoops, 
camera problems today. Sorry about that. And please make sure when I am taking these notes, whatever I write in my notebook is expected for you to be written in your notebook. So, if we have the situation like this, each student in class is asked, and again, if I'm going too fast, that's the beauty of video. Just hit pause, copy it down, and then resume to bring four dry erase markers as supplies. So if the question said write a ratio that represents this situation, you could either write, or that represents the situation of students to dry erase markers, Again, this order is important, so students comes first, so the number of students would be first in my ratio, which would be 1, and then the dry erase, so 1 to 4, or 1 to 4. If it said write a description from this ratio, I could write for every student, there are four markers. If you are having um, more difficulty understanding this, don't forget you have options. You could um, Google ratios, how to write them. You could Google ratio relationship descriptions. You could Google descriptions of ratios and find lots of videos or um, websites out there that could also help you with the ratios. Have a good day.